minutes, we can start this week by a newest edition of London Random Things. Yep, books. Same day, another one. I have no idea what happened with this. So, after 5,029 views and 29, again, weeks of videos that I was uploading during my time in London, so every single week that I've been in London, since the end of September, I've been uploading one video. Except for one day, I missed because of studying, but that doesn't matter. So, 29 videos, 5,000 views, and today, May 9th, I've reached 100 subscribers. And that's not a lot at all. It's not even close to some, like, something, something amazing. But, um... It still feels amazing to me because, I mean, like, I wasn't really marketing my channel that much. Um, and still, without that, just by uploading videos, I got 100 subscribers, which I think is not that bad. This makes me excited to do more. So uh, thanks to everyone who's been watching since the beginning or whenever you joined, doesn't matter. Thanks for still being one of those hundred subscribers and keeping up with my videos and commenting and liking. If you don't, that's fine also. Um, just thanks. Thank you guys. Hello everyone, how are you? Uh, I hope you're doing well. I had a good week so far. A couple of days ago I submitted one of the last assignments. I've got two more, just one assignment and one exam actually. So I'm really looking forward to finishing those and then I'm done with the university, with studying, the adult life starts. But another reason of why I'm so excited today is that I'm going to a concert of a band called Twin Atlantic, which I really, really like, and I've been listening to them for since like the, their first album, which came out like five years ago, I think, maybe even more. And you know, I've been going for a few gigs for the last couple of weeks now, and they, they weren't really like, I wasn't really that into those artists, no offense to them. But today I'm really, really excited because like this is a really, really cool band and I never saw them live and I'm really looking forward to it. And what's even better is that I'm not going there as a part of my job, but I'm still on the guest list and I go there for free, which is just makes it even better. So um, yeah, really, really excited about that. Apart from that, I recently discovered two things about myself. First, I'm getting addicted to coffee, it seems like. Second, let me just put the camera here and show you what I've got. These two cards. This one is like right near the underground station. There's this small coffee carriage. It's like actually like a carriage which makes a coffee. Like it's a local supplier, not a very big company, but they're really good. And they've got these things, as you can see, if you like coffee, you most probably know what this is. Like when you get 10 stamps, you get your 10th coffee for free. And I got this yesterday, which is pretty much the same thing. You can get it for free. This one is like a plastic card. That one is a paper card. Um, you just collect points and you get your coffee for free also. And uh, yeah, that's one of the things that I wanted to tell you. The second thing is that I've started to draw again. I don't draw that well, to be honest. And I never studied drawing, I just learned everything that I know by myself. And I used to draw a lot when I was a kid, like really, really a lot. But then I stopped and then through my teenage years, I occasionally got back to it, but not majorly. Like I drew sometimes, but not that much. And during the last week, I drew like four pictures. Uh, which hasn't happened in forever, it seems like. And I'm just gonna show you some of these drawings right now. And by the way, none of those are my original ideas. These are just like pictures and drawings and photos that I found on the internet. And I just thought they were really beautiful and I just wanted to draw them. Just thought you should know. So here's the first one. And as you can see, like I decided to write the date and the time when I drew this. Um, so, so yeah. This is how it looks. Here's the second one that I wanted to show, as you can see. I'm not very good at drawing like chins, as you can see, because the girl, because the girl is like this. So um, yeah, gonna have to improve that. And this next one that I drew last night, um, 
Well, okay, I'm just gonna say it. It's a girl and she's without a clothes. So I'm just gonna cover inappropriate parts with my hands, which sounds really weird, but okay. Uh, and I'm gonna show you this one also. This is how it looks. As you can see, she's got a lot of tattoos and stuff like that. That's what I've been doing lately, apart from studying. And um, if you've got any advice on an artist like me who's not professional and who doesn't know much, uh, and from what you saw, maybe there's something that I can improve. And just any tips in general, if you think that, you know, there's something that you could help me with, um, let me know in the comments. Thanks. balloon on the rails after the show so I'm not sure how the train is gonna get there
Hi, so uh, today is the next day after the gig and I really enjoyed it uh, and I still got the wristband I don't know why, just because I like wearing it and the gig was very good but there's something specifically that I want to mention the supporting acts there were two bands called Lonely the Brave and Eliza and the Bear I heard about both of them uh, and listened to only like a couple of songs but I didn't really know much apart from that but yesterday at the gig especially Lonely the Brave. Like, it's so rare when the supporting acts are that good, but they are actually really, really good. And Lonely the Brave especially, they've got this song called Backroads that I definitely recommend you to check out and just check out their whole album. They've got one debut album. Uh, but this song, Backroads, uh, it's so, so good. The, like, the lyrics and the melody and the like just like the feel of it it's so so good it sounds like this so good especially that phrase you be the sky and i'll be the bird Ah, so yeah, definitely recommend you to check that out. And I've also just watched their video for the song called The Blue, The Green. The song is really good, but I really, really encourage you to go and watch it. Here it is. It's called Lonely The Brave, The Blue, The Green. I obviously can't show you the whole video here. So please, if you like good rock music, uh, just watch this and watch it till the end. You might cry, you might not, I don't know, but just please watch it till the end and let me know what you think in the comments.